Look at us. Look at us. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Colors with Baby Nala. And we're coming back to you with another video. And today's video is going to be all about my 17 week and 18 week update. Ain't that right, baby girl? Ain't that right? She just came home from daycare and David is a busy body right now. So she is going to be chiming in and out. <laughs> I didn't try to touch your belly button. I didn't try to touch it. But yeah, I thought I was overdue. Well, I know I am overdue for another bump date. I don't know. I guess I, I, I felt like I didn't really have a lot to say. So I wasn't sure if I really wanted to give an update. But I can definitely come to you guys and tell you guys everything that has happened and also talk about my feelings as far as future baby and plans and how I expect to do that so I think if I can't give you a bunch of updates on what happened in the last like two weeks I can tell you what I want to happen in the future so if you are interested in hearing about all those details and what's going on with me and baby Nala just keep on watching. <laughs> now, um, if she keep looking this way, I actually have a mini ring light that she is like really interested in. She really wanna touch it so bad. But since she can't touch it, she just gonna mush me. So going back to my 17th week, I have had my 17th week appointment. And in that appointment, everything was still copacetic as far as my cervix. It was actually a little bit longer. It was like four, four points like four three almost five inches or something like that so baby girl at this point if you don't know it's a baby girl so baby girl is definitely uh hanging tight um i do have an ultrasound picture which i did post on my instagram if you haven't seen that go check that out at colors underscore isaac baby is definitely bigger definitely more of a baby the whole time um <laughs> why are you trying to stand up <laughs> the whole time when i was uh in the ultrasound room watching baby um baby was just flipping all kind of ways it reminded me a lot of nala but i don't even think nala moved as much this early as this baby is because the whole time she was trying to get good pictures she was um like flipping upside down and on the back and then facing the front and all kinds of stuff. So this baby is definitely very extremely active. Uh, Nala was a really active baby as well. Hey babe. Say hi to the people. Hey. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> this was the ring light she was uh enjoying so much. She liked this light? Yeah, she keep on trying to touch hey. it. Hey. Hey. I want you to see a day. So yeah, um, Nala was actually a extremely active baby as well. Um, for whatever reason, though she was the calmest little thing for the longest time. She didn't start getting rowdy and moving and all kind of stuff and even talking. Even being awake until she was almost um, probably five or six months. I don't know if this baby gonna be the same nine times out of ten. I'm just expecting it not because um, a lot of times I hear that babies aren't always alike. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes because everything people have been saying that always have been the truth. So you know on top of that I didn't gain any more weight. I am still around that 175 range. Also too, I haven't been as crampy as I have been in the previous week, in my 15 and 16 week. I have experienced cramps. I have had moments where I was a little bit worried, but it wasn't nowhere near what I have previously experienced. So I kind of just chalked it up to things will be okay. I no longer need to take the 
nausea medicine because I haven't felt nauseous, which I am happy about because I like I have moments, but it's not like it was before. Like if I don't take the medicine, I just have a terrible day. So that is a big, big, big thing that I really, really, really can appreciate because that morning sickness was crazy, but the insomnia is still real. I have been currently waking up around one something, then I can't go back and sleep until like three. And lately, Nala has been waking up around those times too, so I guess it helps in those ways. Or maybe I'm just feeling her about to wake up, and in that case, I just have like this mama instinct that she's gonna say something and then I'm already up for her. Also during my 17th and 18th week, I've been feeling like my boobies are getting sore and definitely feel the milk. I was thinking that the milk wasn't like trying to come out or anything, but that's definitely a lie because still at this point when I pinch my nipples child, the milk is starting to come out. So I don't really know what to do. I'm really, really nervous about trying to pump i don't really want to start anything i just feel like the milk never ever went away but it's also getting to the point to where it hurts because i can feel them getting so filled up but i don't want to start pumping because then it thinks that i want to continue doing that and on top of that my doctor already told me previously to not pump so i'm i'm a little lost on how to go about it because i don't want to keep filling and filling and filling up and hurting to where it feels like i'm getting like that mastitis feeling and when it gets to that point i feel like i have to pump but i don't want to start something that i'm not willing to finish because as you may know i do not want to breastfeed this baby i have no intentions on doing it i do plan on starting to stock up on the liquid formula just like i did with nala in the beginning i feel a lot more comfortable giving the baby that my only worries in doing that is um, will the baby be as acceptable to the powder because I remember when I started giving Nala the powder it was like a transition <laughs> in itself look at who making another appearance look who making an extra appearance what here get your toys as far as work and everything like that work is a situation child i really 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 don't know how ladies work active jobs i should say um because it is so hard i do have an adjusted schedule but that being said i was added an extra day at work which really 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 sucks but i have to pull through in this situation. Also too, in these last two weeks is the first real time I have felt baby like move around and shift. Um, she is definitely starting to push down on my pelvis area and feel like she gets pretty low, but I'm starting to feel her roll around and move around and I felt um, a real kick for the first time or a bump. I wouldn't even say a kick because her legs is part so tiny child and also um, too ironically I have started to Really 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 grasp the concept like you are having another baby I don't know why it is like that. It was even like that when Nala like even though I prayed and prayed and prayed for her For some reason it just don't really click and you don't really get that attachment to the baby until a lot further some women do get it a lot earlier but for me i tend to get it a lot later on in the pregnancy it's really starting to hit home and i'm starting to get excited about it <laughs> Oh my, that was rude. Let's talk about some fun stuff, which is some of the stuff that I more so expect to do moving forward. So to answer some questions along the lines of, you know, hospital, those type things. So I'm definitely not having the baby at the hospital that I had baby Nala at. The emergency video or situation that I had with having the contractions already in this situation was a reminder of 
why I wouldn't want to uh, have the baby at that same hospital. Originally, I really did want to do a home birth, but um, realizing that with my iron situation, I have really low iron, which makes it less possibility health-wise to actually have a home birth. Um, two, as far as whether or not I'm gonna have a natural birth or not, Probably not. Um, I might end up giving the whole epidural thing a try uh, again at a different hospital because I just feel like if I can't have the whole natural experience, I don't really care that much to not have the epidural. Being that I never really wanted to ever have a hospital birth and being that I have a hospital birth, it's kind of like if I'm gonna have the baby hospital, I'm okay with having the epidural, but I don't want to be going through all this pain and I'd rather have like a birthing center or a home birth and have the whole natural experience which is a part of what I wanted. So more than likely I will have epidural. I'm really hoping that this time delivery would go by a lot more smoother. Another thing that I really have been experiencing going back to symptom even though I'm done, mommy brain is like at its finest because I swear I forget everything. I do not intend on uh, doing uh, or buying more clothes for this baby. Maybe a going home outfit. There's just a lot of clothes that she has that I can just pass down to this baby. So um, I was originally planning on donating a lot of clothes but that was before I realized that I was even having another baby girl. So. Nine times out of ten, those clothes are being kept, but I will probably be looking for a going home outfit that would probably be super cute for the new baby. And also, we did solidify what stroller we want to get, at least while we're still in the same car situation. Now, if we end up getting another car, this may change, but we are planning during the Black Friday season to get the upper baby Vista. We had decided to stick with that one because the cheapest option that can actually fit in our car is actually the upper baby. From my understanding, every year they do some type of sale, at least a couple hundred dollars off, I think two or three hundred dollars off around Black Friday. Um, so I'm hoping they do the same thing this time around. Um, on top of that, I know that if you have a baby registry through like Bye Bye Baby or something like that, there's no uh, restrictions on the coupons that be used on particular items. So um, I do plan on also creating a Bye Bye Baby registry and adding like the pieces and stuff like that to the baby registry so that I can be able to use that registry coupon on some of the items for the stroller so that's what it looks like as well as we still really want to do the nuna pippa light lx car seat and we also need to get nala a new car seat a convertible car seat which probably will be a nuna i don't know i'm not really fixated so much on hers we did go to the Nordstrom store and test out her and some convertible car seats. I just feel like they're so huge. Like why are they so big? They're also very expensive like in the four to five hundred dollar range for a convertible car seat. So it's time to get her a convertible car seat as well as get a baby like a new car seat because now that we know that we want to get the other baby which should be the last decision. Our car seat won't fit on that one because we have a great old car seat. Ben, is there anything else we did in the last two weeks that I should note to them? Take care of that hand, hand, foot, and mouth going around. Hand, foot, and mouth going around. Yeah, one of the kids in her room got it. What is that? I heard about it, but I don't know what that is. It's, it's just some sickness or whatever. It's contagious. But... Mm -hmm. Oh, another thing that has happened during these two weeks is recently for the very first time, Nala has been away from me and it felt like it was a whole weekend, but in hindsight, she actually just left with David for one day and it felt like an eternity. I really wanted to have like a girl's 
shindig for the first time and I thought it would have been cute for David to just take uh, Nala home to his family hometown and you know have the family see her as well as me have like a little bit of girl time but after it was time for them to really leave I instantly regretted my decision and I just felt like bad and I just really I don't know Nala is only seven months she about to be eight months next week and it just felt weird because she has never been out of my sight so this is the first time that David went away with her babe how was it He was over here making jokes like, oh, I'm just out here being a single dad. I'm just doing the single dad life thing or whatever. How would you think it would be to be a single dad? Come here. Come here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh-uh, 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 as soon as you see him, uh-uh, you were dying to sleep. So, bring him in. He took my baby. He took my baby, and he procrastinated on bringing her back. So how was it being a single dad? It was fine. Cause she was like, mm, I'm just, I ain't had time to answer your phone call cause I'm out here being a single dad. And like, uh-uh, that's what he messed up at. <laughs> you answer my calls at all times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so did you get a bit of a glimpse of how it would be if you, it was just you and Nola? A little bit, but I had family help here and there so if you were hypothetically a single dad would you move home probably yeah <laughs> <laughs> no question <yeah. laughs> like, like, it'd be way too hard to, to have a single baby up here with no family you don't think it would be like weird if it was just like just you and her or hard it'd be hard i don't know we did good she was good she didn't give me no issues or nothing yeah. she was Looking for my reassurance a lot because she hadn't seen everybody down there in a while. But after the, she was with them for a good little minute, then she got comfortable. Well, I thought I should channel in on how David was doing on his single parent journey and why he was taking my baby. My baby. It's my baby. My baby. Supposed <laughs> to have two babies. Three. Three? Dang, I don't know what I'd do with three right now. I know. <laughs> well, uh, you want four kids. Yeah, age that a little bit, you know, put a little space in between them ages. You still want a third? Yeah. When? Not no time soon. Give it about a couple of years and then we'll What's see. What's a couple we... years? I need specific. <laughs> <laughs> we obviously don't do do good with <laughs> with planning things out. <laughs> I need to know that. I don't know, maybe two, three years. See what things looking like. I want I want this one to be in school first. Huh? I want, yeah. She ain't gonna be in school till she like five. Four, four or five. Yeah, so I want her to be in school before we think about third. I feel it. Mm. Let's see it. Bye y'all. Catch you later. Mm-hmm, cause it, Subscribe. What you trying to do? Watch till the end. <laughs> <laughs> all right so looking at week 18 because i don't know if week 17 is as important so week 18 the baby is the size of a grapefruit the baby is now covered in all vernix if you don't know what vernix is is that white stuff that's all over the babies when they're born um, that protects the skin from damage in the womb some babies are born with this coating however it decreases at the as the delivery date gets closer it says baby is looking more like a regular baby at this point with proportionate arms and facial features if your little one is a girl she is already have half of all the age she will be born with the sex now can be identified on ultrasound but clearly it's already been identified right now she is awake for only about six hours a day that is about 
it as far as the update with baby during week 18. Uh, it does mention the length and it says about six inches and weight is eight ounces. But let's go ahead and see what my belly's looking like. This is what baby is looking like. Last time I was like 37 inches. So maybe I can get a quick moment of what it's right now, what it is right now. How do I usually measure this? Is it in the middle? Cause it's in the middle. It's like 36, almost 36 and a half inches. Right here is about a little over 37. It's probably a little over 37 inches if I post the measure right here. I don't even remember no more. That's how much pregnancy brain is getting to me. That is my belly bump. So let me know down in the comments if I just measured it wrong. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. All right, you guys, I love you and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Oh, Let me wood in the morning. Yeah. R.I.P. your mama.